Well, by 1970, the Chevelle had evolved from a grocery getter to a full-blown muscle car. All of the manufacturers were competing in cubic inch wars. Ford had the Boss 429, Chrysler had the 426 Hemi, and Chevy had the Chevelle, the LS6. 454 cubic inches, 450 horsepower, made it to a 12-bolt posi rear end. This was probably the ultimate. Not only was it a very impressive package to drive, but it was probably the toughest looking Chevelle of all time. Cowl hood, first year for the cowl induction, made the thing really look cool while you're driving it. The rubber clad bumper made it look neat big pipes coming out of the back, dual exhaust made the thing sound great. Now what was better than an LS6 Chevelle? An LS6 Chevelle convertible. Less than 50 of these built, people aren't sure, the number sometimes 18, sometimes it's 20, we know it's under 50. Ultra rare, probably the fastest production car from that time, gonna be a fun car to drive. So jump in, let's go. As soon as you get in this car, it's not a, a sports car, it's truly a muscle car. There's a fair bit of room, it's a fairly big car. You fire it up, you hear a little bit of a grumble, it's got total stock exhaust on this thing, sounds sweet, and you feel the power. As soon as you step on a little bit, well that's unbelievable. The 454 LS6 makes some massive torque. It's 450 foot-pounds of torque, 450 horsepower. Just an unbelievable car to drive. Stand on it, right out of the box, these cars were low 13-second cars. Keep in mind, that's with an F7014 polyglass tire. Unbelievable that the car would actually run that sort of time with those tires, and it ran it at 113 miles an hour. So with a set of slicks, you know the car is as fast as anything today. There's a bunch of different ways this car could be optioned as far as transmission. The best transmission, the M22 Rock Crusher. That's what's in this car. Ultra rare to get it in a convertible. Ultra rare to get it actually in any, any LS6. Look out over the hood on this car and it's got the famous cowl induction hood, which is something every muscle car enthusiast should experience. Stand on it and just watch it open up. Handling of the car, the car is really a fun car to drive. It's a full frame car, so it's nice and smooth, drives out real nice, wallows a little bit in the corners, but that's expected for a car that's probably about 3,400 pounds. This car was never designed to go around corners. It was strictly a straight line bullet. Fun factor, well, that always is an important factor, and this thing's got lots of it. How can you not like a big block Chevy and LS sick? Huge torque, spin the wheels almost any gear you want, and still be able to do 130 miles an hour. Definitely a ball to drive. If you ever get the opportunity, take one of these things for a spin. Now look at the restoration on this car, second to none. Body and paint, perfect. Stripes, accurate. These stripes are always painted wrong around the front and around the trunk lid. The convertible top on this, perfectly strung. There's no wrinkles, there's no marks in it. The chrome, every piece has been replated, every piece of stainless has been polished. The interior, it's above and beyond just doing seats and carpets. Door panels are perfect. All the trim around the gauges, all the painted silver around the gauges looks like brand new. The engine bay, perfect again. Totally detailed using all the correct original pieces. Right hoses, right clamps, right air cleaner. Go to the smog system, the original smog system from this car is still on it. Go to the door jams and the restorer actually left that unrestored because there were markings on there that he couldn't duplicate, so he left it. Looks really great. Undercarriage of the car, perfectly restored. All the right markings are there. The car overall, I'd say is a very, very strong number one. The car would win any concourse it goes into. A car like this has to be worth somewhere between $150,000 to $200,000. And at that, sounds like a nutsy number. We'll watch, five years from now, it might be double that. <laughs>